welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can deploy QTS Cloud on QNAP Virtualization Station. Okay, uh, as we already uh, mentioned before in our press release also that QTS Cloud is supported on a lot of on-premise hypervisors and QNAP Virtualization Station is one of the hypervisors which can which is uh, which customers can use on-premise and if they want to have this option to deploy QTS Cloud on a QNAP NAS, they can still do it using the QNAP Virtualization Station. Okay, so let's get started. So in this tutorial, I'll just show you how to deploy. Okay, I'm not going to show you how to initialize because we already have uh, different uh, video tutorials and you can find the description uh, link in the description for those tutorials. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do is you need to install a virtualization station, the latest virtualization station from your app center so i'm going to <clears throat> skip that part because i'm assuming you all know how to do that so uh, download the or the, install the latest uh, virtualization station on your uh, qnap nas and then open it okay so once you open it the latest uh, virtualization station preferably version 3.4 and above okay what you have to do is just go to the vm marketplace here now this is a marketplace of virtualization station and you, you can see the various different virtual machine uh, uh, products that we support okay what you need to do is scroll down and you will see QTS cloud here okay so there will be a download button corresponding to the QTS cloud also when you click on the download button it will first download and show you the user interface to create the virtual machine but because again the download process can take time so I just skipped that part for the video per, for the video tutorial okay because uh, you don't know you don't need to know how to download you already know that so once it's downloaded uh, what you will do is like you will receive a, a user interface and it will ask you to do some settings that is the same user interface or the same window that will pop up if I click on the deploy button here okay so once it's downloaded just click here and you will see this pop-up window now this pop-up window asks you to do some specific or to specify your configuration for QTS cloud so you can give it your name uh, give it the name uh, to your virtual machine so let's call it QTS cloud uh, main okay and how many CPU cores you want to uh, assign let's say for the sake of this video tutorial let's keep it one <coughs> sorry <coughs> and uh, memory let's keep it 2 GB okay just for the sake of the video we keep it small <coughs> you can assign it any number of CPU cores that's uh, it's uh, supported by your uh, NAS and you can assign more memory depending on your requirements as long as your NAS can support it uh, you can specify the HDD location so this is where your virtual machine will be saved so just pick any particular uh, any particular uh, folder okay it's totally up to you I'll choose normally choose this virtualization folder so basically my virtual machine data will be saved in this particular folder okay and this you can choose the default option that is provided here okay and uh, if you want to set a password to open your uh, virtual machine you can do that uh, I will skip this for the sake of this video tutorial it's not very important but if it's if you want you can always set a password okay so just click on the OK button and and just click on this button uh, OK and you can see your virtual machine will start creating and the name of your virtual machine is QTS cloud underscore main okay and that's it so your virtual machine uh, related to QTS cloud has already been created okay so sorry I closed the window by default uh, by mistake so let me open yeah <clears throat> and as you can see here let me expand this yeah so you can see QTS cloud underscore main this virtual machine is already created let me show you one thing okay so let's go to the settings of uh, this particular machine let me click here first of all let me choose this virtual machine and let me go to the settings here so you can see in the settings if you go to hard disk you are seeing there are two hard disks already there one is the default hard disk where you put your image and second HDD is there which is by default created okay so that's the thing so in QTS cloud uh, when you deploy QTS cloud from the marketplace you don't have to worry about attaching a separate 
storage disk it will automatically be attached okay and currently uh, it is going to uh, take uh, maximum space of 1 tb so that means uh, if uh, if uh, your your nas has 1 tb space it will automatically uh, use it that doesn't mean that uh, it will use the whole uh, 1 tb it will just keep on uh, expanding its storage okay so that's one thing that uh, you know different uh, from other platforms in this one you don't have to separately attach a disk we have done this uh, especially for the qts cloud uh, for especially for the qnap virtualization uh, users virtualization station users okay so that's the advantage of directly uh, deploying qts cloud from the vm marketplace it becomes easy and the disks can be uh, managed easily nevertheless at any point of time if a user wants to change they can always go to the settings uh, they can always go to here uh, settings and they can always uh, you know modify the storage the way they want it so they can always change it it's, it's not a problem okay <clears throat> but to keep the uh, onboarding process simple we have uh, uh, done this way okay so once your QTS Cloud VM is created, first what you need to do is you have to start this VM. So click on this button that will that will start the virtual machine and you can see your virtual machine has started now. Okay. And once the virtual machine is started, all you have to do is just click on this console and it will open. And you can see now the virtual machine is booting up. Now please understand one thing. Because this is opening for the very first time, you're starting the virtual machine for the very first time. So it will take some time to boot up so, okay so let me show you another virtual machine which has already booted up which i call it i call that qts cloud underscore backup so if you click on this one and open the console of this you will see this machine is already booted up and it will lead you to the login uh, terminal now very important thing here is if you want to log in uh, the default password for your uh, uh, the default login uh, uh, user id is admin and the default password is the mac address without the colons and all caps so for example for this particular virtual machine the uh, password will be 525400 capital e 0 capital c capital e capital d 5 okay so that is the default password if you want to log in through the console however you don't have to log in why because you already know the IP address is here. So what you need to do is just check this IP address and enter this IP address in the web browser. So the IP address for this one is 172.17.36.56. So let me add, uh, uh, enter 172.17. Uh, let me see what was the IP address. This is the machine. 36.56. So 36.56 and let me enter. And as you can see, once I enter the IP address, you will be redirected to the initialization wizard of QTS Cloud. Okay, so that's how you uh, deploy QTS Cloud. And uh, we already have created other tutorials which show you how to enter the license key, how to initialize QTS Cloud. Okay, so you can follow the other video tutorials for that, for that purpose. Okay, so this is how we uh, initialize, or uh, sorry, this is how we deploy QTS Cloud on QNAP Virtualization Station it's very very simple and very easy okay so let's go back and uh, <clears throat> so as you can see this was our virtual machine which we created which is called qts cloud underscore main and if i open the console again i think it's still booting up yeah as you can see it is still booting up so you know we have to give it some time okay once it is booted up it will look exactly like this one here it will look exactly like this one. You will see the LAN IP. Okay, you will see the MAC address and you will be redirected to the login terminal, uh, login uh, screen. Okay, so once it's booted up, all you have to do is just enter the IP address of your newly created virtual machine into the web browser and follow the uh, online, uh, follow the instructions on your UI to initialize QTS Cloud. Okay, so yeah, so that's all for uh, this video. Uh, do let us know if there is any uh, comment or any feedback uh, that you have for us. And uh, <clears throat> please note that, uh, you know, we uh, are not going to support VQTS any further. Uh, so if uh, any user is looking to host uh, QTS on top of QNAP NAS, they have to use the QTS Cloud and QTS Cloud is a licensed software, okay. 
the VQTS uh, we are going to do end of really uh, uh, end of life uh, announcement we have already done for VQTS and uh, whoever uh, the customers who are already using VQTS can continue to use it uh, but we will not uh, provide any further support for uh, VQTS okay so please uh, switch to QTS cloud as uh, it is supported on more number of NAS QTS cloud is supported on all the NAS that has a virtualization station okay so having said that let's check once again if our QTS cloud main uh, uh, virtual machine has booted up and yeah as you can see it has already booted up and the line IP is 172.17.36.58 okay let's enter this 172.17.36.58 so let's and yeah you can see you are going to you will be redirected to the QTS cloud initialization wizard so that completes our QTS cloud deployment on QNAP virtualization station okay so thank you thanks a lot for watching and do let us know if there are any feedback or any comments